Well, before we actually started the Food Co-op, we were holding local food events to highlight local artists and producers. And Sustain actually came down and set up a table at one of our first events. And it was at that point that we started talking to Sustain about starting a Food Co-op and how they could support us. And the benefits of the Food Co-op here are that we can bring in food very cheaply to students, um, but even more importantly, we can build a community around food, which is what we really would like to achieve. Um, is getting people to think about their food and where it comes from and how it interacts with their lives and how that can actually bring people together. We ask for about an hour's worth of volunteering each month from all our volunteers and that could be tasks from helping us pack up the veg boxes to distribution um, to now scooping whole foods uh, and tear down of the stall. Uh, we even have volunteer tasks such as setting up recipes for us or updating the blog or the Twitter account. Um, and so there are things people can do even if they can't make it down to the stall every week on a Friday. It's, it's not just volunteering, I, I, the people who volunteer here as well and the co-op members, they're my friends and, uh, and I'd love to help out in any way possible. Because we're volunteer run and we're community based, um, we're a friendly face, we're not just kind of um, aisles and aisles of vegetables from all over the world. We do try to keep the prices as low as possible and partly that's because we are all volunteers and we have a lot of our overhead covered by the university which is one of the big benefits of being at a university. We pay no rent, we pay no electricity or any sort of you know, overhead like that. But we also don't try to make any profit on it and so one of the big things for us is that you know, we keep the prices as low as possible because we know that students need to have those prices low. One of the benefits that we've seen is that people who are brought in by the cheap prices that we're able to offer um, also learn a lot about local food and the benefits of local food. And that's something that we try to promote as much as we possibly can uh, in hopes that when they leave the university they'll keep thinking about local food and alternative ways of buying fruit and veg instead of just going straight back to the supermarket. The main thing about Scoop is to bring cheaper food but that's ethical or local or organic to students. Because Sussex is a campus university, people have to go into town for the supermarkets. So the fact that we're on campus on a Tuesday is really convenient. It means that there's always people around and there's always people looking for cheaper sources of food. People don't necessarily have to be um, interested in the ethics behind the organic or the no packaging. It's just more for convenience for them. Um, but people who are interested and want to support us also are able to do that too. So I think the food courts provide a really cheap and healthy alternative for students, which is something that if people want to do but find it quite difficult to access that cheap, healthy food. Um, and it also shows that students are really proactive and really happy to volunteer and happy to do things to make changes and differences. It's a very positive experience for me. It's always good to support small business people, I think, and also the food's really good. So I think that's basically it. I love it. It's organic and it's cheap. Being able to provide whole foods that is, you know, from, a, from an ethical source uh, at, at good prices is something that's very important to a lot of students. And if student volunteers can provide that service, um, it's great.